today we're going to demonstrate coupling and uncoupling. I know all drivers know how and understand coupling and uncoupling, but we do become complacent. So we're just going to give a little demonstration to remind everyone. Sure enough, I'm in good position, okay? But let me show you how I decided to be in this position. My outside rear drive, drive tire is lined up with the nose of the trailer and the landing gear. And it centers my fifth wheel with the kingpin. Now I'm gonna back up. Notice, I did a little tug. That's the first thing I need to check. But I also need to make sure that the fifth wheel handle is locked in place. And sure enough, it is. But more importantly, it's very important that you get underneath and make sure that the fifth wheel is latched and holds that king pin in place because one day you're not gonna check it and you're gonna pull this truck out and drop that trailer on the ground. So I'm gonna check to make sure. It's looking good. And now I'm gonna hook up my airlines. And today everything is color coded. And yes, I did check the grommets to make sure that they're good because if you don't and you're DOT, that's a violation. I also want to make sure that my airlines don't touch the catwalk. That's a DOT violation. Now everything's hooked up. I'm going to raise my landing gear. These trailers are two tier. So, let's see. I don't know how heavy this load is, but let's see if I can raise my landing gear. No, I can't. So, I'm going to pull it out. And sure enough, I can raise them enough and I'm listening for the airbags. And when I hear the air, the trailer fall on, on the fifth wheel and my airbags begin to inflate, then I know I'm good. And now 
I can just raise the trail. I just got to the drop lot to drop my trailer. And what I like to do is start from the landing gear and work my way forward. I made sure that I set both my brakes before I came down off the truck. And now, first the landing gear. And please, when you lower your landing gear, you only need to make sure that the landing gear touches the ground. Maybe one more turn, but don't lower the landing gear so that the trailer is above the fifth wheel. It makes it much easier for the next driver that comes along. Now I'm gonna move back to the truck and trailer and like I said, I did engage both the brakes. Please make sure that you put the lines in the proper place because we've had lines wrap around the drive shaft or the drive tires. Once you start going down the highway, that could very easily happen to you. I'm dropping this trailer make sure that you take your bills and put them over on the clipboard At one time, in order to detach, you had to come underneath here and pull the fifth wheel handle to release the fifth wheel from the kingpin. But with these nice trucks that PTL has gotten, there's a button in there that you can push. And I don't know if you noticed, but I held the button in, but it didn't release. So it was just a matter of making sure that both my brakes were set and pressing the button again. And I got a nice release and I've come back here to make sure that the landing gear will support the trailer. I never pull completely away because if the landing gear should collapse, then at least the trailer will fall on the drive tires. And now I'm ready to go to the next load. Now, I've gotten everything disconnected and 
make sure you put the air lines in their proper places. We've had drivers leave the air lines on the catwalk and one of these lines gets to either the drive shaft or one of the drive tires and wraps itself around the drive tire. So please put your lines in the proper places. And now, let's go out and make some money.